How you doing everyone? This is Dario for Media Box ENT and what a great day to make a video and what a great day to show you something new. I will say to you guys, Media Box brings a lot of cool things. What we got today, Creation Crave. And you say, Dario, what are you gonna see inside this box? Well, today will be an open box and at the same time we're gonna build it. And it's good, this is actually tech education in a box. Imagine now you can build projects comes right in front of your door once a month with a cool projects for everyone to build and if you got kids opens your mind for your kids so it's going to be project for the adreno board it's going to come with the led and everything so let's open the box let's see what we got inside there and let's see the surprise of this creation cray a media box ent okay so let's use my super gaucho knife okay Let's open this wonderful box and let's see what we get. Okay. All right. So let's put this in the side. Whole package here. Oh, yes, building the makers of tomorrow. Okay. Pretty nice set. Oh, this is nice. So let's put the wax into the side. We don't need this. And let's see what we get. Wow, so we get a USB cable. I guess it's to program the Adreno board. We got some jumping cables. Oh, we got some cool resistor there, some three LEDs. Maybe a sensor, a photo sensor there. Oh, this is nice, it's gonna be uh, high project. Oh, we have the breadboard. Okay, well, we got sticker tech spire by creating. Okay. Oh, how to show you how to op how to separate each of those oh, champy cables. Okay, it comes together, so you just go in. Uh, Open this way and use the jumper cables. Okay, let's look. This is a regular braid board. So, my guess is you will get this once a month, you will get a braid board and different projects. I think this is for the actually the first uh, uh, project number one. Okay, and yes, we get this thing. All right, so we get the we get the Adreno board, R3. Nice, here you you plug this here so you can program with the computer, pretty easy to do. Real nice, we get all these wonderful things. Some jumpers there, and then the manual. So this is the mod for the lamp. So this one, we're gonna be building a light mod. And here, give you the part less. So we can see here, all the padless, yes, LED, green lights, the resistor, the adrenal board, and the lamp. How to make it, and then how to do the program. So let's try that. Then we go on the computer, we reprogram, and we try it. This is done pretty good. Nice project. All right, so let's start putting together. So here we have the LED. Here it says, make sure the long side, yeah, because these are so we're gonna go and to show you here. So we're gonna go one here. Well, we got the red one first. So we put the long side. So we put one right there. Nice. All right, so we're gonna speed up the video now. So we're gonna insert the LEDs. Remember the long leg goes to your side. Okay, so we put the three LEDs. Next, we're gonna put the, uh, we're gonna put the resistor. Okay, so we set the resistor right there, and then we're gonna put the photo cell. We got that in, and now the jumpers. Remember that jumpers are in this case are all white color. Maybe they can change time to time. Then exactly match uh, the join. That's fine. Just gotta make sure you connect it to the right side. Next, we're gonna put the ground. The jumpers on the ground wires, right? The blue is always the ground. Red. 
is U plus five in this case. That will be the main two main rails. So we got all the jump percent, the photo cell. Okay, so now we gotta get the plus five to the resistor, and now we gotta also we got some more grounds to the photo cell to ground. We're gonna put the jumpers into the Adreno board. Okay. That's actually gonna read the data from the photo cell. We put there the plus five. Now we gotta put the ground wire to the main rail. So now we got the plus five and the ground. And the next we got that actually wire each LED to each jumper. So we're gonna put another two more jumpers. Oh, that was a little short. So let's put the next one. Again, those jumpers, they don't match the color, but that's about the same, it's okay. Okay, so we got all the wires in. Just remember the colors don't match. That's okay in case you're going crazy trying to figure out the jumper has different color from the joint. So now we got it. We plug in the Adreno board into my USB and my laptop, and now we're going to build a lantern, and then we're going to go on a computer, and I'm going to show you how we're going to program. Okay? Let's put it up over there. And that's it. And then let's go and let's program this thing. Okay. That's it. We got it, right? Okay. They don't want to stay up. All right, so we created all the hardware. So as we look to join the same next step, we need to download the software. We need to get the Adreno. In my case, I have Windows 10, so I'm going to click Windows Install. Depends on your operating system. You have to click, or you can, if you run a Windows 10 app, you can get it from the app. So we're going to click on it. We're going to download. You're going to save your location here. If you feel like donating, you can donate or just download. I'm going to download it pretty fast and then we're going to install it. So we finish the loader, we're going to execute the Adreno setup. We agree, next. And we do the full installation. Okay. So after we finish install, we're going to load the software. Then you're going to go, or you go just new. We delete everything once again. Then we're going to go save fast. We're going to save fast. And now we're going to call it going to call it moon lamp save it and now you're going to start typing all the program and then actually after that you're going to click save i already had done that so we're going to minimize this screen and we got right over here okay so this is the whole code so what we're going to do now we're going to upload into the adreno board and that's a good thing that happened that's because i then set up the right uh, usb port See, my previous installation was four, and this one is different. So let's look what it is different. So we go into pour, tools, pour, and it's five. So you gotta make sure in yours, see what number it is. You know, you got the right number set. By default, should we set it up automatically? And then we got it set. Make sure we draw on, we check the Adreno. And by default, should we set up already detected the Adreno one? Okay. So we detect it, and what we're going to go do again, we're going to re-upload it, okay? And it's no problem. It did detect it. It's already into the Adreno. Real nice. No problem. There is something very important, too. Anyways, in their exercise, but when you start you code for the first time and you upload it, the default, the ambient light, as you see here, it says to 600, and I believe that's a, a pretty big number. What's going to happen is uh, your room needs to be in total darkness, and I guess when you program this in your computer, you're going to have a lot of light, or maybe during, during the day you program this. And what's going to happen, the mapping is you think it's there, so why did I plug it around? It happened to me. What did it wrong? What do you mean this thing's not working? And so it's the photo cell. So I put the thing in the photo cell, and the photo cell is still not want to light up so i will say you can go all the way to I think i believe it's 1024 show you and show you it actually on the, on the manual is there the instructions but i would say for the first time when you get to this point maybe you want to type zero or either one so that means during the day or no matter how much lights in the room you will see the lights come up then you can change it to maybe i see i believe 100 is a good number 100 is a good number to set up at night, so when you 
set up in your room and you shut your room light, it should come up right away. It should light up with no problem. So say I believe that 100 is a good number. I think it's 600 is a high number. And if a thousand, forget it, it should be, I don't know, beyond total darkness to start. It has to do, a lot to do with the value of the resistor and the value of the photo cell. That can be the, what the numbers it needs to be changed a little bit. But I will say, like, for you, for the first time, I put a number one or 100, so at least during the day, or if you're going to school or whatever, show to anyone, your friends, you got to make sure you have a low number or you have to wait the night or be in a dark room to actually to see how that works. That's the tip of the day. Next, I want to show you to it give you a site where you can go. My creation, you type the month, in my case, uh, month one. And you have to type a code. Let's see if it shows. And we got to type a password. So after we type the password, actually it's in the booklet. We can see now if you want to see it much bigger, it's good. You have, now you have the booklet, you can download the instructions. If you stole in a Mac drive, you can install a Mac drive. And if you feel it's too hard, then you can download the code and upload the code right into the Adreno board. So here's the code. But I'll say for the first time, it's always not first time, all the time you should be able to get used to the type the code. That's the way you're learning by actually doing yourself. Okay, so I you know it takes a little time, but it will be nice. Just type it. And if you feel like give it up, you go there. And give it give you some questions. If you change and actually the one I was doing, let me see. Question two. Six here. 600, you can go all the way to 1024. That's a crazy number. Too high. So we can go from 0 to 1024. I don't know how dark it needs to be. Super dark. So 600 is dark enough. Uh, I mean, 600, it will not even, I don't know. They got to be the drug drug. So for first time, play with the numbers. Bring this number. When you tap the code, bring this number to maybe one or two. So at least it comes on right away. And then you can play around with the numbers. If you wanted to put it in your bedroom, you can shut the light off and then you can play with these numbers, okay? So it's pretty cool. So, okay, this is the side. You need to enter the code and it gives you some bonus questions and stuff. You can change, you can change the resistor and show you what happened after you do all these changes. Pretty good. So now we are actually on the side and the main page of the side and here it says it's a free shipping. Let me see here how much will cost you. And that's how much we're running out for one month, three months, six months, or, tw or 12 months. So it's cheaper if it's enough for the year. And I think right now they have six projects. Okay. Pretty good to give you all the structure all the parties. The Adreno, all the parts, all the parties as, as I showed you before. And the structure. And besides, you like get into the website where you get more detail. Okay. And you can see previous six months. That's what we built. We built in month, month one, and then here, I guess, as it goes, maybe it gets a little more complicated, different projects. All right. So now we're going to show you how this thing works. Hey, so what do you think? That was a beautiful project. You know what? It comes with the sticker for the kids. So you know what? Let me, I complete the project. I get a sticker too. Okay, so it's working pretty cool. It's actually flicking right now because it's a lot of light in the studio. Pretty easy to me. Any kid can build this. Any, any, anyone can build this. Follow the instructions real nice because you have the booklet. And now you go into the website with the keyvio.code. You, you put the code in and you can see everything on the website. And the idea is you type. You have to follow the instructions and type the code to learn. But if it's a little hard to type the code, you can download the code and upload it to the Adreno board. My only little concern, not a concern, is this should supply with the power supply. My power supply, price-wise, it goes between, you can find an even Amazon between $2 to $5 a piece. What is a power supply? Because right now, I need my laptop to power it up. You need, in the beginning, a computer, no matter what, because you need to reprogram the unit. But one is program, it's already in the memory, so I can take my USB, connection and it's done but now let's say one maybe my kid wants to have it in, uh, in the room even though with all the cables to show the friends when actually I was doing the editing of the video I decided to put this tip of the day from MediaBox CNT but another way to do it and this is a good way by putting a battery a 9 volt battery and this will you can use it for many many hours and what is good on it now 
You can bring it from to your friend's house. You can bring it to a shonen tail, and it's a portable way to do it. What uh, only requires in a little adapter with nine volts. So I think that's another thing. Maybe they can be added into the box, the little nine uh, volt adapter. So if that somebody decide to take it uh, for show and tell, and if you want to use in your room or you want to power it up for many many hours, then I say yes. You need a power supply between seven to nine volts. But this should last you for many, many hours to use and will be a nice portable way to take any project only for a 9 volt battery. You need some type of power supply. So we can the knife if at least the first time, if you send out the monthly and send the power supply, you know, or let it open. I have to look more on the website maybe, they say somewhere there, but I browse for some time and I didn't see anything and talk about the power supply. So that's something, something mine. Because that I think it's a great, Thing for everyone, for kids, good maybe showing ten in the school to do electronic projects. And beyond this point, you can use the Arduino board to get it with the Raspberry Pi now, and you can build robots. You can control all kind of relays, and you can do all these crazy things. You can do remote control cars, control together with Arduino and the Raspberry Pi. So it can be it can build many things. I added to one of these boards. So this is pretty good. I like the project, no problem. And I will leave all the information right below the video. And once again, if you're not part of Media Box ENT, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, leave a like, and let me know what you think of this nice electronic project. I'll see you next time. Once again, my name is Dario. Bye.